Hey everybody, I've been asked a few times recently about my astrophotography setup. Thought this might be a great time to uh, bring everybody up to speed uh, with kind of a video tour of what I'm working with. I do try to keep everything pretty simple. I would like that if somebody, uh, you know, sees one of my videos, gets inspired to maybe try it themselves, uh, that the startup time is rather quick, that they can acquire this, uh, this equipment quickly and come up to speed quickly. So this is what I'm working with. So this is the Celestron Nexstar 6SE. It's a six inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. It is really good for planetary, moon, sun with the correct filter, uh, International Space Station uh, stuff that I've done, the transits of, uh, of the space station. It is not great for deep sky objects if you're looking to get into galaxies, nebula, things like that. But this is what you can expect to see when you, um, when you construct it out of the box. And this is really all you need. If all you want to do is look at the sky, look at uh, you know, the planets, moon, etc., you can get by with just this. You can control everything through this hand controller. Uh, this is where you can do all the alignment. You can do uh, their go-to. This is all electronic. It'll, you, know, you can select Jupiter on here and it'll go to Jupiter after you've got alignment on it. Uh, and it's, uh, it's really convenient. And so that's the starting point. That's really all you need to get started. Now, what have I done to uh, kind of upgrade this or make it a little bit more uh, possible to do what I do as far as astrophotography? So because I have it out, I'll just show you right away. This is a, an electronic focuser. Um, all that does is it replaces the dial with a motor and then it's attached to this equipment so that I can control that through my computer. I'm a little obsessed with focus. That's why I have that. I feel like I can't get good enough focus with my fingers. This, you can really fine tune the focus. But the primary thing, I guess, that makes astrophotography possible is the addition of a camera, right? So you replace the eyepiece with a simple, in this case, a ZWO 678MC camera. It's a relatively inexpensive planetary camera. And it's as simple as just removing the eyepiece that comes with it and uh, replacing that with your camera. And then you just, uh, with a USB cable that comes with the camera, you know, you plug that in. And then the other end of that is just gonna go to any really inexpensive laptop. I bought this one, the cheapest one I could find really at a, uh, at a big box warehouse. It works perfectly. You don't need a high powered computer uh, to be doing astrophotography. So the other upgrade that I made and how I use my computer is I like to control the, the telescope through my laptop, uh, the same one that I'm using uh, for the camera. I like to control that uh, or control the telescope through the laptop. And the way to do that is just to plug the hand controller into a uh, USB cable here. So this allows me to do uh, any of the alignment functions, the go-to functions, you know, go to Jupiter, go to Saturn, whatever. That allows me to do all that through the computer. And then also with the electronic focuser, the electronic focuser attaches to the base, and then I can control that through this cable as well. So now that's all I've got is the two cables going to a laptop, very simple. One other thing that I added on, and I would recommend anybody who plans on doing a, uh, astronomy or astrophotography for more than an hour at a time, is an external battery pack. This does have eight AA batteries in it that'll run the telescope for maybe an hour. Uh, this will extend that to 10 hours. It'll go all night. Uh, and that's just as simple as, uh, you know, I set it down there and I just plug it in here. Okay, just two more things that I'll point out quick that uh, are key. Uh, eventually, you will want to look at the sun. It's, it's one of the interesting things uh, in the sky and it's one of the things you can do during the day. For that, get yourself a solar filter, relatively cheap. It's, uh, you don't have to go with an expensive glass one. This one's just a, like a plastic film, the Celestron. Uh, the other thing that you'll see sometimes in my setup is, this big guy here. So this is a wedge, and without getting into too much detail, uh, what that does is it changes this uh, alt azimuth mount into an equatorial mount, just to do a quick overview of how this works. So this part would go to the base, and then the telescope kind of sits off this way. So it's slanted 
uh, towards the path through the sky that all of the stars and the planets take. And so in that way, as you're taking pictures through the night, uh, the planet stays in the same orientation. There's no field rotation. And it's that's kind of hard to explain, uh, but if you just go with the basic mount, as you take pictures, uh, especially of things that you can tell when they're right side up or upside down, like Saturn with the rings or Jupiter with the bands, uh, you can start to see over the course of maybe half hour, hours, uh, you can see that it starts to rotate in your field of view, which is absolutely fine. But in the in two cases, if you're doing uh, long exposures, which that's a whole different uh, area of astrophotography, but if you're doing long exposures, if you are trying to do nebula, galaxies, etc., uh, deep sky objects, you would have to have a wedge. But what I use it for is for long uh, time-lapse photography. So I've had some uh, Jupiters where I've taken pictures every couple of minutes for six hours at a time. Uh, and for that, so that Jupiter isn't rotating within your field of view, you throw this on the bottom of it so that the camera stays in alignment uh, with the planet uh, or with your subject throughout the night. And I guess I'll just add one more thing to this. So I choose not to just directly attach these to my laptop. I have this all going into a USB hub, and then I've got a 20 foot USB cable so that when it is really cold outside, I can set my telescope outside the front door and then uh, string that inside and I can stay nice and warm. Uh, also, you might have seen in some of my videos, if I'm doing daytime astrophotography, uh, it's really hard to see the computer screen if you're outside in the sunlight. So in my first few uh, videos, I'd go out there and I'd kind of hide underneath of a towel. Uh, now I just string this 20 foot cable into the house, shut the door, and uh, it gets a little bit darker so I can see my screen. And that's pretty much it. I have a few other pieces of equipment laying around that I'll use for different things, filters, uh, things like that. Uh, if you have any questions about things you've seen me using in the past that maybe I didn't talk about, uh, or any of the other equipment that, that uh, you're thinking about trying, uh, just leave a comment for me uh, if, if you do have questions. And thanks for watching.